Nessa girl, answer this phone. It's a damn shame that people can't even go down to their job house good without fear of damn getting shot. Like, bitch, if you, if, if listen, if I can't go to work and not get shot, where the hell else could you go, okay? Did you hear about this shooting down to the YouTube offices in California, Nessa girl? Now, you know, YouTube is how we make our phone calls, honey. So I was very interested in this story. And when I read the circumstances behind why this girl did the shooting and the outcome of it all, it really saddened me. It really saddened me because YouTube has been good to me and it is near and dear to my heart. Uh, Nessa, for those of y'all who don't know, yesterday there was a shooting at YouTube that resulted in three or four people being injured and the shooter uh, ultimately shot herself uh, dead. Uh, and you heard me right, not himself, herself. The game is changing faster than we are able to keep up with it because there used to be a time when there was a mass shooting or public shooting, we knew off rip that it was a white male. And I watched enough um, criminal minds to know that although a couple other people are slipping through the cracks, statistically it is still white men who carry out these type of crimes, but the game is changing. Nonetheless, how do I feel about the situation? Uh, of course, I'm um, um, upset. I'm outraged, I'm curious, and everything else that y'all are feeling. Um, but there's two things that I want to talk about. Um, her motives behind doing everything and mental illness. The articles that I have read have suggested that the young lady was upset with YouTube for basically filtering her videos and, and, and keeping her from being able to get views, which equals revenue, so on and so forth. And you know, her videos were nothing that really needed to be censored. Case in point, she showed one of her ab workout videos and she said that video was age restricted. But then, you know, you had like Nicki Minaj or Miley Cyrus videos that let it all hang out and YouTube let those go through. Now, in terms of her being upset with YouTube, mama was wrong for all the right reasons, okay? Because to her credit, um, YouTube and Facebook both have something very funny going on with their algorithms that can leave a person feeling like, my stuff is being suppressed, my stuff is not being sent to my fan base because why is it that somebody over here that got a stupid old video of XYZ, they get 800,000 views in a day and I'm over here and I'm getting 25,000 and trust and believe anybody who makes or has made YouTube videos has felt this way. I mean, here I, I feel that way at times. I look at some of the content that's out there and some of the people whose views far out surpassed mine. And I'm like, hold on, I've been doing this now for seven years. I've got this large of a following. Like, why isn't my stuff doing the same numbers? But I've just learned to keep chugging and trekking along. Hence, you know, the upswing that you guys have seen in my productivity this uh, year, 2018. So, you know, there is some truth and validity to her feelings. However, mental illness describes her actions like y'all and i know when we have these shooter situations that a lot of people get upset when we start going down that mental illness road something is wrong with you okay something is wrong with you if you don't get your way in society and you feel the need to go get a gun and shoot up people who didn't even have anything to do with what the hell going on with you, okay? Now, when it was white men, y'all were jumping in and saying, ain't nothing wrong with them. That's just white men being entitled. Here it is. This is a, a woman of color. This is a minority woman. I don't know exactly what her background is. I don't want to be ignorant and just assume Arabian or Pakistani or Persian, but she's somewhere from in that region. Um, so I don't know how much the privilege card applies to her, but she got missing from home 
police found her parents and family put out a missing persons report on her after she wasn't answering the phone in two days i believe she's from like the sacramento california area or the bay area somewhere you know more southern california the police found mama sleeping in her car on the day of the shooting and she had them told them people that she had a fallen out with her family she don't really have anywhere to go but everything is fine the police gave that report to her family so on and so forth then she took her ass down to the youtube and tried to shoot up them damn people um y'all cannot tell me that that's not mental illness and all the church folk gonna talk about it, it's just evil there's a lot of mental illness unchecked going on out here um, and unfortunately when you mix mental illness with motive and opportunity and moreover guns these types of things happen um y'all what can we do to fix situations like this um surely we need tougher gun laws but i really in my heart of hearts feels like tougher gun tougher gun laws would simply just be a vanity move it would be a vanity move to quit well then again i was about to say it would be a vanity move to just quell some of the cries from the general public but now that i think back to something that i read she went and purchased that gun either day of or the day before and yeah tougher gun laws might have prevented something like this from happening now that i'm sitting here thinking it through out loud um where I was going to go was outside of tougher gun laws. If somebody wants to shoot up somebody, listen, there's so many guns I hit on the street. They're going to find them and be able to do it anyway. But perhaps tougher gun laws would be a deterrent. I don't know, y'all. This is just really sad. And it's got me feeling like now, you know, you can't, you know, when these mass shootings first started, it was like, okay, okay, they're only happening in schools. I'm not in school, so I'm kind of safe. Okay, now that happened on college campuses. I graduated, I'm kind of safe. Okay, now that happened at big old outdoor music festivals. I don't really go to those, so I'm kind of safe. Now they happening at people's jobs. Like I have worked for companies the size of YouTube and larger with corporate campuses as large as YouTube. And you mean to tell me something as commonplace as me going to work every day to earn a living can put my life in jeopardy. That is what's scary because, you know, physically it hasn't turned me into a hermit just yet, but mentally I am starting to become a hermit folks call me and want to go out and before whereas i used to be so gung-ho about going down to the bar with the rich cars be looking for my forever you know more times than not now i'm i'm you know liable to be like yeah i want I, i'm man i'm good i'm just gonna stay in the house and i don't know if that's my intuition or if that's me being disenfranchised from just all the bullshit that's going on out there but Y'all, it's hard out there in the streets, and I hate that this happened to YouTube. I hate that this happened to anyone, but I hate that it happened to YouTube because YouTube, obviously, I hold near and dear to my heart. And they're a good company. Like, Google overall is a really good company who cares about their employees. Nonetheless, Nessa girl, y'all drop down in the comments and tell me what y'all think about this damn shooting at the YouTube campus. And moreover, what do you think we as citizens can do to make some changes to what's going on? Uh, because obviously these politicians and lawmakers don't have what it takes to make sure that we're safe. And I'll call you later, Nessa girl. Bye.